likes to talk about how advancements in technology will change the way we live forever. Frankly, I think modern technology is hurting us. I really do. If you want to know the truth, I blame the microwave for most of our problems. <laughs> Anything that gets food that hot without fire is from the devil. <laughs> huh. If you don't believe me, put a hot pocket in your microwave for three or four minutes, then pop that thing in your mouth. We're just so lazy. We used to have breath mints, now we have breath strips that dissolve on our tongue. Yes, we're lazy. Yet, we also can't seem to sit. So we've started making things like yogurt. That's yogurt for people on the go. <laughs> Let me ask you, was there a big mobility problem with yogurt before? <laughs> How time consuming was it really? <coughs> Hello? Oh, hi Tom. Oh, I've been dying to see that movie. Oh, oh no. I just opened up some yogurt. <laughs> yeah, I'm in for the night. <laughs> no, not even later. It's the kind with the fruit on the bottom. <laughs> well, have fun. Thanks anyway. And people are eating power bars all the time. Power bars were made for mountain climbing expeditions and hiking. Not really made to be eaten in the car on the way to the mall. <laughs> Is it really that much faster and more convenient? There are certain things they're coming up with that I just don't think we need. Top of that list is the moving sidewalk you find at airports. It's like a little ride in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> but I don't know what function it really serves. I mean, it's fun because it moves. But you know how hard it is to adjust back to walking once you get off that thing. <laughs> that are speeding things up for us and moving us along, people would be early, or at least on time. But somehow, everybody's still always late. And they always say the same thing when they finally show up after you've been waiting for them. <laughs> oh, sorry, traffic. <laughs> really? How do you think I got here? Helicoptered in? <laughs> does technology torture us? Well, try opening up a brand new CD. <laughs> what has happened to the packaging of CDs? <laughs> these angry, angry people, these CD packagers. <laughs> Open here, it says. Is that sarcasm? <laughs> Are they mocking me? <laughs> the plastic they use is so thick it's like Government plastic. <laughs> Civilians can't buy this stuff. And you can't get through it without slashing it with a knife or scissors or something. In fact, I find you need a sharp pair of scissors to get into just about anything these days. Have you tried opening a package of scissors lately? <laughs> you need scissors to get into the scissors. Talk about a catch-22. Also packaged as though the manufacturers never want you to get to them. What could possibly happen to batteries that they need to be packaged like that? On the other hand, take a good look at a package of light bulbs. Thin, thin cardboard that's open on both ends. What are those packagers thinking? Oh, the light bulbs? They'll be fine. <laughs> It's hard to get into anything these days, even toilet paper. What has happened to the toilet paper in public bathrooms? It's not even one fry anymore, is it? It's the sheer suggestion of toilet paper. <laughs> it's an innuendo. And if you're in a public bathroom and it's a brand new roll that hasn't gotten started yet, just try to find the start of that toilet paper roll. First you turn it slowly, you think, 
Surely I've gone around once or twice by now. <laughs> and then you turn it the other way, thinking, whoa, maybe I'm going in the wrong direction. <laughs> and then you find it. And it's glued down. <laughs> On the other hand, some things that don't need to be made easier are being made easier. They're coming up with these automated toilets that flush entirely on their own schedule. <laughs> Sometimes they just go off randomly. <laughs> You'll be sitting down and suddenly it just flushes. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I'll decide when I'm done. <laughs> Technology has done one beautiful thing for us. It's called the cell phone. There is now not one place in the world where a cell phone is not going off. And every phone now has its own little song. <sighs> Good thing we got rid of those obnoxious rings, isn't it? When you're on a cell phone, you can barely ever have a full conversation. Usually, the reception is terrible. And somehow, it's only bad on your end. The person talking to you has no idea that you have bad reception. They're rambling on and on, and you've got your finger jammed in your ear, you're shushing people on the streets, just so you can hear about your friend's new haircut. What about the bangs? Are, are they shorter? <laughs> At least if they're static, you have some clue you might get cut off. There is nothing worse than having crystal clear reception, and you've been rambling on for who knows how long, only to find out that your connection was cut out. Who knows how long ago? <laughs> then you get paranoid. You're scared to ever talk too long again. Next time you're on the phone, you become obsessed with checking. So, we were going to the cheese shop. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you know, we knew we were having some white wine. You're still there? <laughs> All right, and so, you know, I thought, what kind of cheese would go with it? Did I lose you? <laughs> Once surefire sign things are going the wrong way, now we have the hands-free phone. So you can concentrate on the thing you're really supposed to be doing. My thought is this. If you need both hands to do something, your brain should probably be in on it too. <laughs>